Lunch and dinner, weld plumbing pipes, unclog the toilets, grease the bolt maker, there's your list. You can handle it. I'm counting on you to pitch in and help your dad, all right? Look, little one, I have to go now. I'm staying in here. I'm going with you. I'm going to the Inventors Expo. There'll be the percussion drills presentation and a workshop about home robotics. You'll be bored, my boy. Now come out of there. No! No! Don't put your dumb expo. Stay here. My little one, she's staying right here, in my heart. I have to run. Be good, scrumptious crumpet. Miss you already, my crumpet bunny. <sighs> so now, children, what do you think we should start with? Hmm? Here, Dad, you do it. Change light bulb in the kitchen. All right, Fulgeron, you can do this. Uh, hmm. Simple task for the deal! Ready to be massacred, you I blobs. think, well, I'm not sure, but haven't we forgotten <laughs> something? Can we watch this scary face. film, please? We forgot what? Not exactly sure, but something. Like food! <laughs> Dad, what's for lunch? It's already 3 p.m. and we're starving! Dad, can you even hear me, Dad? Wake up! Nap time's over! <laughs> oh, my poor sweet papa! What happened to you? And why? Why? <laughs> He's dead! <laughs> Negative. He got knocked out. Needs mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. <laughs> Hold on there! One minute, Buster! First, who are you? Oh. Hey, it's me, Triceps Daddy. You're my daughter. Yeah, right. And I suppose you're all my children then. What, Dad? What's come over you? <laughs> what is it? I'm in the middle of a game of strip out. Yeah, what's going on here? Uh, we have a teensy problem. Move aside, out of my way. Oh. Mummy, who are all these people here? They look like a bunch of ragtag squatters. What? Don't tell me you've taken in another refugee family, Mummy! Have you swallowed your key or what? Spit it out! I'm not a baby anymore! I'm 15! You can tell me stuff! Oh, a granny, you can't leave us like this! Listen, sweet cheeks, my mothering days are over and done with! I'm an 112 and can do as I jolly well please! I won't go through your dad's terrible teen stage again! So cheerio! And good luck, chumps! You'll need lots of it! Fine then, just walk away! Good luck! Tough luck! Flower? Flower fills you up. <laughs> <laughs> Think that's funny? Huh? Give me that, you! This is how it's done! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right in the gob! Here! Eat this! Ah. <laughs> Animal! Come on, you! Fight like a man! Yes, that's it! Cut loose! Raid the house! Make this good! Destroy the kitchen! Yeah. Good going! Ha ha ha! Big old fool, once mum gets back, she'll dump you and then it's her and me forever. Big old fool! Big old fool! Look what I found! <gasps> uh, okay then, dig in. How do you think that feels about becoming head of the family? I mean, now that your father's... Hey there, girls! Dad, go away! This is a girls only meeting, no boys are creeps allowed! I oh, see, so what's he doing here then? I'm warning huh? you, bloke. From here on out, you've got competition. Uh, what do you uh, mean by competition? You want to feel my muscles? You want a bit of fiver? I can beat you at arm wrestling? Wow, what a pest. Prepare to be humiliated, then, sir. <laughs> Time for a bite to eat. Oh. Oh. Get yourself a nice hot meal. Or maybe out on the street, but at least it's easy money. Thank you, sir. So kind of you. What a pest! What a pest! It's funny. Open this door right now! One, we've nothing to eat. Two, we've nowhere to take care of the house. Three, Dad's acting like a teenager and a total weirdo. What do you mean? He's the same as always. Dad's fine the way he is. Open the door, you jerks! I'm warning you! Who hopes to bring Dad back to normal? Okay, basically anything that does the trick goes. <laughs> Untie me! 
If you're a real man! I'm not a man. Sorry, Daddy. Come back to us, Dad. Come back! Oh. Yeah, that was awesome. Way too cool. One more time, please. <sighs> Look deep within and examine your emotions and feelings, then put them on the canvas. Your real personality will be revealed. Interesting. Oh, but of course, that banana symbolizes fleeting youth. Thus, you accept the passage of time. The two apples symbolize stability, your true state as an adult. Is that what you mean to say? <laughs> Look, that's you in Pff, the day he was born. Remember Puff, your son, my brother? Look, that's you gardening. You love your greenhouse. Personally, I think it's nerdy, but to each his own. This is you with mummy, your wife, my mum. You two are such lovebirds, and that's why you have oodles of children. Speaking of which, we're in your love nest now. So, is it coming back to you, Dad? Look, I'm very sorry, sweetie pie, but that bloke's not me. I mean, really, just look at how he's dressed. Like he stepped right out of the 1960s. A <laughs> square, a loser. <sighs> I believe there's only one person left who can help us. If you want me to cook for you and put your father back on the straight and narrow, we'll need your complete and total obedience. Is that clear? Yes! I said, is that clear? Yes, sir! That's more like it. Before we eat, we'll begin with a lesson on common courtesy. If you skip this class, you'll skip your meal. Open your books. Lesson one. What is respect? That's right, Ms. McBriss. Make them respect you. Make them mind. Know it all. Know it all. It wasn't our war. Never should have sent us. It's a long way to Tipperary. Do you see what they've done to me? Oh. Here you go, poor dear. You talk about an iron fist and a velvet glove, but I don't even know what the glove's for. Excellent question, little one. The glove is to give a sign of affection, but only in tiny quantities. Shall we continue? Lesson 69. What does being an adult entail? Being adult is first and foremost being responsible. Wow, this courtesy lesson is too shrill. Pop a chill pill, babe. <laughs> Why, how dare you? Sit down right this instant, Mr. Crumpet. I'm warning you, I'll count to three. One. Two, three! <laughs> Mummy? Mummy, are you all right? Peace and love. Take it easy, sister. Oh, uh, no, not, not two teenagers. Flower power. You hear that? Mother Nature's calling. I'm off to gather flowers. So cool. Bother. If she's a teenager now, too, then that oh, can only mean... I'm finally free! Yippee! Let's party! Party! Hey, who's dance with me? Hold on tight, babe. Let's rock and roll. Ah! <laughs> Teen power! Teen power! <laughs> <laughs> me leave my family. Much, much travel. Cross ocean on camel. Life much hard. Me seven bad. Down with consumerism. Up with flowers. Whoa. Where did they go? Make love, love! Forget shopping! You take your flowers and scram, beatnik! Can't you see you're ruining my scam? Get out of there! You're on my turn! Relax, sister! Take it easy! No one owns Mother Earth. Besides, what's mine is yours! I don't give a fla- Oh, what did you say? It's nice, energetic, but... I'm out of here. Enough is enough. What a royal mess. What do you think? The grown-ups are gone. Caprice is gone. Puff is... Puff. It's up to us to take over. I'm willing to pitch in, but I can't do much without you, Triceps. You and me, the dream team, the Iron Fist rules. I'll be your velvet glove. Iron glove! Iron glove! You're grounded until Mum gets home. And until Mum gets home, I'll sacrifice myself to become head of the family. From now on, I'm the law. We'll have no more of this funny business. Boo! To file a complaint, please see Triceps. Now, who do you think you are? You locked him in his room, just when I was having fun. A responsible adult is never slugging or slouch. He takes his responsibilities. Actually, you're worse than my mother. Does that mean this widescreen too? It's yours, so it's also mine. Isn't that right? That's right, sister. 
And this big one here, it's not bad. Must be worth 3,000 quid. Care to tell me what's going on here, Mum? And what's she doing with my telly, eh? It's mine now. She gave it to me. Chill. Who cares? It's just a silly telly. I'll unplug it and then we'll live free. Give me that. It's mine. Let go, wrinkled face. You're so materialistic. <laughs> Mummy? Now about that telly. Out of my sight, filthy parasite! Mummy! Oh, now, now, Cassandra. Organize your hairpins in your room. You dummies can't lock me up. I'm gone. What's next? What's next? That's not fair. You've no right to assign chores to any of us. When Mummy gets home, she'll... She'll thank me for being such a good father, and then she and I will get married for good. Hey, Beanpole, are you going to do it now or next year? Uh, hold on a sec. No rush. Just relax. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I've got it. Ouch! Well, now, what should I try next? Hmm. Of course, silly me. <laughs> Please help poor widow me. All oh, my husbands leave me. And they never come back. I'm all alone with no family. <laughs> Mummy! Oh, no, not him. Hug me, Mummy. Triceps, he hit me! Outrageous! You should be ashamed of yourself. So you just had to come and rain on my parade. I could smack you. Finish the story. <laughs> the same thing happened to Dad. It was when he got electrocuted while changing a light bulb. As I was saying, the same thing happened to Dad because he stuck his finger in the light socket and turned back into a teenager. Help! Help! She's trying to hit me! Come here so I can smack you! Help me! Help! Oh. Quick! Have him change oh. the light bulb again. That way he'll turn back into a grown-up. <laughs> That's so dumb! It's all made up! Tricep, stop them! <laughs> Let me handle it, Crumpet Boy. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. No! 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 <laughs> Crumpet Bunny, blimey, what happened? Go on, touch me one more time and I'll knock your block off, dirty old man. Hello, handsome. Ah! Now that's really not cool. <laughs> <laughs> 